Okay. What do I mean by transcendence? Well, I could use first, I could give the, the usual kinds of definitions of that which goes beyond, or that which is on the other side, or, or so on, or that which... Uh, or the, but I would rather approach the issue of transcendence from um, a couple of practical examples which maybe push us in the realm, toward going beyond or the trans because because when I what I want to avoid in talking about the transcendent is the transcendent as way out there way far away not imminent not involved so let me give you my examples of um, one example would be um, the loving relationship between a man and a woman let's say that uh, perjures over time there's some things that we can know about it and we can conceptualize about it, but um, there are some things that actually transcend our words about it. And th th these are in the realm of, uh, of feeling, of just general understanding. And, uh, and maybe a play, and where we see some examples of that kind of transcendence would be, say, let's keep the same example of relationship between a man and a woman. Uh, when a woman gets woman gets sick, or the man gets sick, and the woman stays there and takes care of him, or um, or in the in the realm of children and their parents, when um, parents show a kind of unconditional love for their children, or later in life when children take care of their parents when they're old and they they're not getting anything out of it, they're, but it's a kind of transcendence of um, what might. What might ordinary, what might ordinarily think, is the everyday, banal human life, and notice that kind of special transcendence right in the loving relationship is not something outside, out there, away from the world, but it's immersed in the world. 